All right, folks, we don't have a lot of time, so I need everyone to focus. we got to get this knocked out in the next 30 minutes. Okay, what are we looking at, Linda? Uh, the city of Phoenix, Oregon is looking for a new official logo. Okay, you heard her. We need a logo, something sharp, something nice. Think visual representation, okay? And let's not fart around. Let's get this done, all right? Any ideas? Anybody? Bob? I didn't know there was a Phoenix in Oregon. There is. There's a Phoenix in Illinois. There's also a Phoenix in Maryland as well. Thank you, Rand McNally. <laughs> uh, anyone have any ideas? Sherry, anything? I thought Phoenix was in Arizona. But I think you're right. I think it is in Arizona. Oh. Yeah. But, but Linda said Oregon? Uh, maybe she read it wrong? I didn't read it wrong, Bob. This says Phoenix, Oregon. Like I said, guys, there is more than one Phoenix. Okay, James. Stick to the subject, okay? Stay on task, all right? Okay, any ideas? Anybody? Anything? Mark, maybe it's a little cliche. What if we do the traditional? The bird. What? The bird. We could do a, a silhouette of a flaming bird. What are you talking about? <laughs> the phoenix. They were mythological birds. Oh, I read about those in college. They were these giant man-eating birds, and they had these really sharp feathers that would cut people. And like, Hercules had to evict them no, from an no, eye. No, that's the Orenthe Stemphalides. They lived on... Okay, what are you talking about? <laughs> the Orenthe Stemphalides. They were armor, they were mythological birds that had armor-like feathers. And for his, his sixth labor, Hercules was required to... Okay, James, I'm not going to say this again, all right? Stick to the subject, okay? Stay on topic. We got a lot of work to do here, okay? Well, I was trying. I mean, I, we were discussing the phoenix, you know, and the Arantes and Phalanx is not the same bird. I had suggested doing a silhouette of a flaming bird because right. the legend says the phoenix goes up in flames and a new one rises from the ashes. Okay, James, not going to say it again. <laughs> Stick to the subject, okay? Stay on target. Hey, uh, where's the artist guy? Uh, Kenny? I don't know. Pad, paper? Doodly thing? Yes, that's Kenny. He's the artist. Works in graphics. Yeah, where the hell is he? He might not have been able to make it. You called this meeting in last minute. Okay, well, uh, make sure you take good notes and get them up to Kelly when we're done. Uh, Kenny. Whatever. Um, anybody have any ideas here? Anything to get us started? Wait, there was a movie about Phoenix. The Harry Potter one. They were in like a hedge maze with a bunch of French girls and mermaids that seemed hot but got ugly. And... Harry fought against some Hungarian guy for a cup that picked their names? <laughs> I remember that. That was a good movie. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Who was in that? Oh, that wizard guy, Gandalf. Yeah. <laughs> Dumbledore. What? Huh? Dumbledore. Gandalf is from The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Dumbledore is from Harry Potter. Well, look who went to Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> Can we stick to the subject, James? Uh, Ian McKellen. Oh, the X-Men guy? Right, Gandalf. right. What? Gandalf. Ian McKellen played Gandalf. Actually, it's Sir Ian McKellen. He's a knight. Oh, oh yeah, like uh, Elton John. He's a knight, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Is that where the queen hits you on the shoulders with a sword? Right. Actually, she just touches each of your shoulders with an ape. A what? An ape. It's a sword. <laughs> what What is your point, James? Nothing. It's just that... James, can we talk contribution here, okay? We got a limited time to get this done, all right? So if you can't contribute to the subject, just keep quiet, okay? All right. Any other ideas? Do you know a movie I watched last week? American Psycho. Oh, I just love that. Christian Bale is so good in that. Christian Bale. Wasn't he just in that movie with Jennifer Lawrence? Yeah, yeah. What was that called? The one in New Jersey? Yeah. American Hustle. What? What? Nothing. <laughs> American Beauty! Right. It was about the mafia or something. It had that hot ginger chick in it. Amy Adams. What? Amy Adams was in American Beauty? No, Amy Adams was in American Hustle. American Beauty is a film about <clears throat> sexually frustrated suburbanites starring Kevin Spacey. No, this isn't a movie. Bradley Cooper. Oh, 
OMG. If he were here right now, I would do him on this very table. Oh, sister, you would have to take a number because I'm way ahead of you there. Did you see him in the Silver Linings playbook? Oh, yeah, where he had he played that guy with schizophrenia? Uh-huh. Bipolar. What? He was bipolar, not schizophrenia. Uh, thank you, Dr. Phil. <laughs> Get it together, man. Anyway, still hot. Yeah, but I did not like Robert De Niro in that. Yeah, he's so old now, but who can look good sitting next to Bradley Cooper? Jennifer Lawrence can. But don't knock Robert De Niro. He's a classic actor and director. Yeah, like uh, like Rob Schneider, classic actor and director. Schneider. <laughs> what, James? Nothing. Rob Schneider did a bunch of stuff in the day. Yeah. He's so bald now. Yeah, you heard Rob Schneider was in Spinal Tap. Reiner. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Rob Reiner was in Spinal Tap. <laughs> Rob Schneider was in Deuce Bigelow, Male Jiggle. <laughs> well, thank you, IMDB, but I am not <laughs> impressed with the constant distractions, James. Get on the subject, man. So then, what did Rob Reiner direct? Lots of stuff in the 80s. My favorite is Stand By Me. It's like the quintessential coming-of-age movie. Yeah, that, that was a great movie. It had um, those guys. Will Wheaton? Yeah, yeah, Will Wheaton. What, what else did he do? He went on to play Ensign Wesley Crusher in Star Trek The Next Generation. He guest stars in Big Bang Theory. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, there was a third one, too, the, the, the good-looking one. What was his name? River Phoenix. Right, River Phoenix. He was in one of those Indiana Jones movies, too. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's dead now, Bob. James, we know Indiana Jones is dead. <laughs> he was in World War II, for crying out loud. Yeah, if he were alive, he'd be like 100 years old. <laughs> All right, well, we're running out of time here, people, so... Uh, any ideas? What, does anybody got anything? I, I got zilch. Same here. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I've got nothing. Right. <sighs> All right, well, uh, what about the bird thing? Maybe, maybe we could do a picture of a bird uh, with the eating flesh and Hercules and stuff. I don't know. The Rente Stimpalides. The Rente what? The Rente Stimpalides. Martin, <clears throat> that bird has nothing to do with Phoenix. Then why are you bringing it up, James? <laughs> Look, we have a time limit here, okay? Stick to the topic. Anything. Anybody have any ideas? <sighs> well, what is it, Bob? Well, I'm not sure if it's appropriate. Go ahead, Bob. Give it a shot. You know, Bob, we're pretty open here, so just write it up the flagpole, and we'll see if anybody salutes. Well... I just remembered there's a team called the Phoenix Suns. Okay, good. So people associate Phoenix <clears throat> with Suns. All right, this sounds promising. And the Beatles had a song called Here Comes the Sun. Yeah! Okay, that's right, they did. Uh, which one of them wrote that? George. Michael, that's right, George Michael. <laughs> Harris. What? Huh? George Harrison, George Michael was in Wham! He wrote Faith. What does that song have to do with the Phoenix Suns? Absolutely nothing. Then why are you bringing it up, James? Why? So, the Beatles. Huh? Love them. Yeah. Yeah, okay, but what can we do with that? We need a visual representation. We can show some musical notes. Maybe a treble scale to represent the music. Yeah, but... That wouldn't differentiate the Beatles from any other musicians. Mm, yeah, that's true. <sighs> you know, we could do a bust of the Beatles. I like it. I like that. Or a bust of a dumb beetle. Golden. But didn't we already do all that? Oh, right. <laughs> We did a bust of the Beatles for Lennon, Michigan, and a bust of a dung beetle for Ringo, Kansas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sculpture was amazing. The shell was so detailed. Mm -hmm. Hey, didn't Paul Simon cover Here Comes the Sun? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we already did a bust of uh, Paul Simon for Simon, West Virginia. Then what do we do about Phoenix, Oregon? 
way. Linda, is there a river near Phoenix? Uh, yeah, there is. Okay, maybe. Maybe we could just make the logo look like River Phoenix. <laughs> right? Maybe just a big silhouette of River Phoenix. Excellent. Great idea. Okay, I got that down. I'll get that to Kenny for some community sketches. All right, good work, folks. Um, I'm sure we could have gotten through this a lot quicker without all of James's trivia, but <laughs> hey, <laughs> listen, Slugger, don't feel bad. I'm sure with a little more experience, you'll be able to contribute too. All right, good work, folks. We're out of here. Great job, Bob. Oh, thanks. You too. James, look, sorry about all of that, but would you do me a favor? I've got to leave early tonight. Big day. Bob's taking you to Chompers. So, would you mind running this up to Kenny and Graphics? If you want, you can even tell them it was your idea. It might make you feel better.